Period. Um, so what was like your breaking point though from the last situation and also too, why was it important for you to speak out? Um I just felt like to be honest, like me speaking out was just more so I don't know, I just got kind of that kind of heart. Like I ain't that type mm. of person to just cause I made it out the woods. If I see mm. other people running through it, mm. I'm gonna tell you what's going on in the woods. Like, mm. bro, like, nah, like you don't wanna go in there. And a lot of us, we break free, we we get out of jail and mm. we don't wanna spread the real word it's like, <laughs> bro, you ain't trying to go to jail, bro. That ain't mm. it. You know what I'm saying? Most of us turn to the street life, see the street life ain't it. And we don't wanna tell other people. So it's like when I know better. I'm gonna do better, but I also always I'm gonna always spread that word. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna always tell people like, nah. When I go talk to kids, this is an experience I had. If it's a good one, I'm gonna speak on it. If it's a bad one, I'm gonna speak on it. Um, my breaking point just more so came from, uh, you know, you just you understand when stuff ain't growing no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when it ain't growing, it's been stagnant and stale and stuff like that. It's only but so far loyalty will take you if you don't understand the person you involved with. You know what I'm saying? When it come down to it, business is about loyalty and opportunities. You either gonna take advantage of your opportunities or you gonna take advantage of the loyalty. A lot of times people play on the artist mindset or people close to them to be loyal, be loyal, be loyal. Trust me, trust me. Don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Okay. Man, look, it ain't like, oh, you think I'm doing you? Come on, I'm doing you like that? Mm -hmm. And your loyalty is making you turn the other cheek like, man, maybe you right, I'm tripping. No, no, it ain't, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It gotta be in you to know the right from wrong. So it's like, it was just, you know, again, I'm a business person. I, I, when I started learning the business, if things started looking funny, I learned from that and I move how, how I move. Like I trust God yeah, right. and it's like, whatever move I make is gonna be the right move. Cause I ain't doing it with ill intent. You feel me? That's facts. I yeah. think I for me, I was just like, man, I gotta commend you for you know, for not being afraid. Cause I know sometimes if anybody else was in that situation, you know, people would be like, man, I'm comfortable. This is what it is. It is what it is. Nah. You know. But I commend you though, cause I know that probably took a lot to do. You know what I mean? For sure. Um, but did you receive any backlash? I don't. I ain't never care about no backlash. Like any backlash I got, where people wanted to say something anyway, got you. they don't okay. care that's, what's going on. It was yeah. like yeah. it's like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You can sit here and and, and and jump out of a tree with a with a baby, saving a baby or something. <laughs> if somebody say something wrong, they gonna be right you on the, the baby wrong. That's what like, they what? Do. So it's like I couldn't. You I never worried about. I never worried about the backlash. Like yeah. like low free low low frequency people are only gonna give you backlash high frequency right. people just mm -hmm. like they not really they on something else we ain't thinking about all that like it be the people so it's like i just i just had to understand understand what came with it mm -hmm. i ain't never give a damn about what came with it i'm bigger than everything that came with it so it was just mm -hmm. like why address it and that's why even yeah. now like you know respectfully I'm not using no name for no I, brand see. I built. If you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, if, I I it, if, I, if I made you, I'm going to break you the same way. Like, it's me. Like, it's got it. You can't play with me. I don't want, I don't want your name mentioned in no interview. We ain't talking about you. That's period. Yeah, so if you know, you know. If, if somebody said um, you are like, because we hear so many artists, like even like Megan, sure. that, signed a bad co that signed a contract that wasn't that great mm. and felt played in the long run, but it still was in contract mm. terms. If somebody said, "Yo, your old signed a bad contract and he's mad," is that is that relevant or nah? I wouldn't care what they said. Nobody ever seen my contract. Right. But Nobody I'm saying, know the like, terms of. Is it when you look back when you say like you learn <laughs> when you look back and you say you learn? Is was the contract like was it sometime, in the contract? But you just it nah. Sometimes it's it's things just be different. Like sometimes you can get a bad contract. Or well, sometimes people can understand you smart enough to give you a good contract and just don't, because you trust that, don't think you would know that they'll breach it. Mm. It's just different ways of playing the game. I feel that. I mean, it's just a finesse. Everybody learn how to finesse, you know what I'm saying? Like, you learn how to finesse and they and they run with it. When yeah. people catch on to one method, they switch over to another one. So it's just kind of like, just finding them loopholes and understanding like, oh, I see where I was being screwed and just learning from it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You feel yeah. it, you know it. Like. Yeah, and when they when you feel it, you just be like, okay, cool, this this what it is. So yeah. I wasn't I wasn't tripping about it. It wasn't nothing tripping about it. It, it was 
I tripped about it For sure. initially, of course, mm -hmm. when I spoke about it. And it wasn't necessarily I was tripping. I, I'm super passionate about what it is, you know what I'm saying? When right. I take a stand for people, I'm all in. I'm loyal. I'm I'm loyal to the end. I don't care if you got bread and my partner. No, I'm over here with my partner. I ain't none of that. Like it ain't about the money. It's about right. what we got. It's this love sure. over here. So of course it was like the passion came behind what I had going on because it was a manipulated situation where mm -hmm. it seemed to be like a bond, a love, and stuff like that. But I had to understand the end of the day is business. You learn from it. Like yeah, okay, so cool. I can at the end of the day that's the greatest lesson I ever learned because I can never get caught like that again. But yeah, you know, yeah. just like how you were saying prison was the worst but best thing. Mm -hmm. It kind of seemed like this is kind of going that's, to end it's up. It's the same being, thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just different pinnacles in your life where your life had different turning points. Mm -hmm. You just gotta step out on faith. Like you never I never knew what was gonna happen when I got locked up. Right. I didn't know how I was gonna get out, if I was gonna get out, but I had to trust. This same situation. It wasn't on me to give a damn what happened. Like, sue me. I don't give a okay. damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is, at the end of the day, I know how my heart is. Mm -hmm. And I know it can't go the wrong way if I'm coming with the intentions I'm coming with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It wasn't never no, no, no mischief in my heart. I don't come like that. I handle business and that's it. We get our money, we split, and that's all. Damn right. So it's like, it's whatever with me. I'm mm -hmm. good. I know how the outcome going to be. I feel sure. you. Yeah, we definitely hear about it all the time. Like, artists get into these contracts or situations where, like, it just it doesn't give what it's supposed to give, basically, from the paperwork. So what do you recommend to an artist who is about to sign, like, mm. besides, of course, getting a lawyer? Like, what should they do for themselves? Because even a lawyer could steal you wrong. Right. So, like, what do you mm. recommend to an artist themselves, like, the steps to take to know, like, to know how to read a good deal? Um, The hard part, what we don't want to do, the science part of it. Mm. Everybody like PE. We like to go record. We like to... Come on with the song. We like to go to the club. We like to do features. Thanks. We like to drip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga, what about your business, though? Do you mm -hmm. know it? Do you know what's really going on? Are you really going to get down to the science of what's going on? Mm -hmm. And when you do that, it makes your transition into being an artist that much smoother because it's kind of like people can't play with you. I don't like the people that's in my position. Like the people that I have set in position, they people I trust. Mm -hmm. They know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like my content director, like my operational manager, my day-to-day -day manager, my mm -hmm. like whatever, whoever I got, got going on, I can just trust that they gonna have it done because I understand that part of the business. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, it makes it that much more of a smoother transition. And so, yeah, that's that would be my advice to, to, to artists, like learn the business. When you learn the business, you ain't gotta worry about necessarily getting screwed. It's different loopholes in the game as well, the way you can take advantage, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that be the hard part. That be the part that people don't want to do. The Progress Report. <laughs>